Tonight, I'm gonna to show you how I made a bunk bed with a slide and a removable playhouse. When you have a lot of kids, you gotta make the bedrooms as efficient as possible. So bunk beds are the key. I made a nicer bunk bed for my older boys, but the younger ones were getting to a point where they needed one too. This time though, I wanted to add some fun features to make it a little bit more interesting. So I took my original bunk bed design and I made some improvements on it, and then I added a slide, I added some windows, a fort, and a roof. Since I built this almost all out of construction lumber, I decided to plane down the top and bottom surfaces of the 2x4s and 2x6s. After cutting them to length on the miter saw, I even ripped some of them down on my table saw to remove the rough edges as well. The basic bed frames were made by screwing together 2x6s at each corner with a 2x2 glued to each side to support the bed crossbars. The screws were probably sufficient, but glue adds some redundancy into the design. The L-shaped corner posts were just glued together and then I rounded over all the corners. To add more redundancy, I screwed a 2x2 block under each corner where the bed frames would go. This also helped make the assembly easier. My last bunk bed design had vertical posts going all the way around the top bunk. For this one, I simplified it by making the rails horizontal. The bottom bunk had a short rail to keep the kids from rolling out that I made using half lap joints. This makes it strong, but easily removable if needed because it's all one piece. The ladder sits against the bed at a 20 degree angle and was the same design I did on the last bunk bed where I cut dados into the side pieces and then locked the rungs in place with dowels on either side. For the slide, I used a piece of birch plywood and wanted it to be strong but removable if needed. So I came up with a way to hang it using a French cleat. For the side rails, I ripped down the 2x4s to be narrower on the top to fit the kids' hands going down. This slide was at a 45 degree angle with a minor angle change at the bottom to help slow them down a bit at the end. To make the bed feel more like a playhouse, I built a false roof and some small sections of walls with windows. These pieces, as well as the slide, can actually be removed from the bed in the future and the ladder can go right up against the top bunk. So as they get older and decide that a playhouse and a slide aren't cool anymore, then we can remove those. Because of the size of the bunk bed, I had to disassemble everything for finishing and then reassemble it in the room. For the finished, I used some antique walnut gel stain from General Finishes and three coats of Armor Seal, which is an oil and urethane top coat also from General Finishes. The slide got a good coating of wax to make sure the kids went flying off, but in hindsight, it didn't really need it. The angle actually makes it pretty quick. With all the subcomponents finished and partially assembled, I brought all of the pieces up to the kids' room and started early in the afternoon.
first goal was to get it assembled before they got home from school. That didn't happen. So I figured I could finish it before dinner. Then that didn't happen. So I figured I'd have it ready just before bed. That didn't happen. Finally, well past their bedtime and with kids pounding on the door, I completed the assembly and invited them in to try it out. This was a fun build, but man, it used a lot of wood. The kids love it, and they love having their own place to hide out. Let me know in the comments if you'd ever sleep in a bunk bed like this. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Now, go build something, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>